The first tip that will help you pass the step one exam from the first time if you're in a hurry is picking the right resources. And since now step one is just pass fail, you don't need to worry about scoring high, you just need to pass. And for that, one question bank is more than enough. There are multiple question banks out there, but the two most popular ones are UWorld and Amboss. For step one, especially if you're in a hurry, I don't recommend doing both. I would recommend only doing one. If you have to pick one between the two, I would recommend going with UWorld. Now it's not only about picking the right resource, but about studying it right. Right. But in summary, I recommend you study UWorld in a timed mode, so as if you're doing an exam, and study it system-wise. Because when you study it in timed mode, you simulate the exam. So every day you're doing one to two blocks of an actual exam style. So when the exam day comes in, it's like walking in the park. You've already done that hundreds of times. And the reason why I like studying it in a system-wise is because now you're in the studying phase. So it helps if you study something about heart failure and then compare it with another question about heart failure and a question about arrhythmia rather than answering one question about GI, one about endo, one about cardio. Studying the system wise in my opinion would help you consolidate the information more than studying random. But of course there is value in studying random questions and I'll touch base on that when I talk about self-assessment exams. But when you're in the studying mode I recommend you study system wise. And also make sure to take notes from your work. And some people will freak out because they're studying from a question bank, they're answering everything wrong, they don't know the answers but that's fine. Don't worry about how many questions you're getting wrong. What matters here is not the percentage of the questions that you're answering correctly Correctly, what matters is how much you're learning from these explanations and with time you will see that the percentage of questions you're answering correctly go up with time now another great resource I recommend to supplement your question bank studying is the high yield files from the match guide these are a list of high yield topics that are commonly tested on the exam prepared ready to use for you and they're divided by subject so you might want to study the high yield file of that subject before you go into your world or the other way around so you study your world and then you go and do a quick review by studying the high yield concepts and these files are also gold for the last few days of your preparation and the best thing is these files are fully free for you to use some might ask well what about first aid if you're in a hurry first aid is a resource you might not need for your preparation especially that step one is pass fail i believe the combination of studying a question bank very well along with the high yield files should be enough for you to pass the exam but again focus on studying these resources as well don't overwhelm yourself with the number of resources just focus on one or two and study them well